Hey everyone, it's John here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how we can use Microsoft Flow to add or remove items in an Excel table whenever a list item in SharePoint is created or modified. So here I've got my list in SharePoint, and it's just got a couple columns. So this is some quotations, and maybe this is quotations that are made in a Power App, and then come here into SharePoint. And then what we want to do is take those list items and add them into a spreadsheet. So here I've got a spreadsheet with some of the same columns. And then we've also got some extra columns here where people are doing some manual tracking of these quotes. And the reason why we maybe want to push data into a spreadsheet rather than pulling it into the spreadsheet with something like Power Query is that we only want to update or change certain fields once they're already created. So maybe uh, if we create a new list item in SharePoint, we want every field to come in here. But then if we modify something, maybe we don't want to change the original quote date. So even if that changes in the list, we don't want to change it here. And we also have these other fields that we're manually entering data in and we don't want those to get disjointed with uh, whatever's in the rest of the row. So if you use something like Power Query and you refresh the data, everything is going to change and it's possible that uh, what's in these rows is no longer related to the rest of the data. So we're going to use Microsoft Flow to push data into the spreadsheet instead and that way we can control what items change. So let's just take a look at that in action. So back in my list here, if I select one of these items and then edit it, and maybe this is actually 88, and maybe the quote amount is 450 instead, and if I save that, we can see it changes in my list here. And if we go into our spreadsheet and wait for that to change, we'll see it eventually change. All right, so after a couple minutes uh, that I cut out, we, we can see that the list or the item here in our spreadsheet has changed based on how we modified it in our SharePoint list. And if we go back into our SharePoint list, and if we just create a new list item in here, And then our new list item appears here. And if we go into our spreadsheet, we'll see that eventually come into our spreadsheet as well. All right, so here's our new row after a couple minutes. And now let's see how we can actually build this in Microsoft Flow. So I've got Microsoft Flow open. And here's the flow that's actually doing that. And I'm just going to turn that off. And let's start from scratch. So I'm going to go up and create a new one from blank. And create from blank. And the first thing we're going to do is add the trigger. So what triggers this uh, Microsoft Flow uh, happening? So if I search SharePoint, Then it's going to list all the possible triggers in SharePoint. And the one we want is when an item is created or modified. And then we get to choose uh, where the site address is. And also the list name. So the list that that was happening in was called quotes. And now anytime in, uh, that we change or add something to the quotes list, uh, this Microsoft flow is going to be triggered. 
Next, we can choose our actions. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look in our spreadsheet and see if the row already exists. So I'm gonna search for Excel. And we're in Excel online for business. And then we're just gonna list the rows present already in the table. So my spreadsheet is in my SharePoint site and it's in a document library called demos. And it's actually just in the top level there. So it's called quote tracking. And then the table inside that spreadsheet is also called quote tracking. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that list of rows that already exist inside the table and we're going to see if any of them match to the items in SharePoint. So we're going to do a filter. So this data operations filter array action. And we're going to add some dynamic content. So we're just going to take the list that we get from this step here. And we're going to check the quote ID. And we're going to see if that's equal to the SharePoint list ID. So SharePoint, anytime you create a list item in a list, uh, there's a ID that's created. So it's a unique identifier. And that's what I have in this column here. So quote ID. And now the first time I did this, this didn't actually work because this is a number. And for some reason, this thing here was looking for a text string. So instead of this, what we actually want to add is an expression. And actually, if I go back in here and add this, if you hover over this item, you'll see what it actually is that you can use in the expression. So here it's trigger, body, uh, question mark, and then ID in square brackets. So I'm going to go back and in my expressions. So I'm going to use the string function and that's just going to convert uh, that ID into a text string. And then that trigger body question mark and ID. And that should be perfectly good, but it's probably not going to work. Oh, it did. Sometimes it doesn't uh, work and it says it's an invalid expression. And then I just uh, cut it out, leave that, come back to it and put it back in there and it works. So, so the next step we're going to add is a condition. So we're going to do different things depending on if our filter finds any items in our list. So if there's an item in our list, that means that list item already exists in our spreadsheet and we'll just want to modify it. But if there's nothing in this filter, then that means it doesn't exist in our spreadsheet and we're just going to add a new item in. So if we click on this and add a condition, And again, here we're going to add some dynamic content. So this body here is what the, what we get from this filter step here, but we don't want, want just that. We want to check and see if that's empty or not. So again, if you hover over this, you're going to see exactly what that is. So body, uh, and then filter array, but we're actually going to add an expression. And we're going to use the empty function to check and see if that's empty. And again, that should work. Let's see. Okay. And then we're going to see if that is equal to true or false. So this is a uh, empty function is something that's going to return either true or false. 
and we're just going to see if it's equal to true. And here's what ha sometimes happens. So that should work, but it's not. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. And now it works. So if it is empty, what we want to do is add a new item into our spreadsheet. And again, let's look for Excel. And Excel online for business. And there's an action in here to add a row into a table. And we got to pick which, uh, where the, the file is located. And it's in our demos document library. And it's the quote tracking spreadsheet. And it's the quote tracking table. And then that lists out all the fields in our table. So we've got the ones that come from SharePoint and then also the extra ones that we are doing manual things in. So we're just going to fill in the first couple and again with dynamic content. And we're going to get those from our SharePoint list. So quote ID was ID and sometimes it's not going to list all the items in SharePoint. So you might have to click see more and then it gets listed there. And then address and let's get the unit. And this time we want the quote date. So whenever we have a new uh, item in the table, we want to have the quote date. Oh, wrong one. And here again, we need to click see more to get the quote amount. And that's good. So we don't want to fill in any of these fields here. We just want all these fields from our SharePoint list. And then if uh, this thing is not empty, so if this value is false, then what we want to do is uh, update a row in Excel. So Excel and Excel online for business. And there's one here, update a row. So we're going to use that. And again, we just got to pick the right file. and our table and then there's a couple extra things here so because we're updating a row we need to identify that row first so we need a unique identifier for that row so we need to identify which column contains that unique identifier and for us it's a quote id and then we need to uh, find a particular value so which row are we actually updating and that's going to be our SharePoint ID. And then we're also going to update it with our SharePoint ID. That won't actually change. So we could leave that blank and address and unit. And here we uh, don't want to modify the quote, the original quote date regardless of what happens in our SharePoint list. So we're going to leave that blank. And again, quote amount. So Flow has actually automatically uh, added this apply to each step in my Flow. And I don't want that, so I'm just going to click and drag this add a row outside there. And then just delete that and press OK. 
And there we go. So we have our flow. Uh, it's triggered whenever something is created or modified in our SharePoint list. Then what we're doing is checking our table in our spreadsheet and just listing out all the rows in that table. Then we're filtering that list based on our SharePoint ID. And then we check that filter and just see if it's empty or not. And if it's empty, then that means we need to add a row into the table. And if it's not empty, that just means we need to update an already existing row. So we can give this flow a name. And then we can save it. And now if we go into our flows, we'll see it listed there. And I've got the other one turned off. So this is the one that's working. And we can test that out now. So let's go up here and select this item. So 57 Park Street, and let's just edit that. And maybe that's actually 66 Park Street. And here, let's try uh, editing this date. And let's say it's today. And here, let's say this is actually 377. And if I save that, it changes in my list. And let's just check this out in the, the uh, quote tracking spreadsheet. So here it's changed, but the quote date hasn't changed. And again, if we just add a row, and save that. It's created in our list. And again, if we go into our spreadsheet and wait a couple minutes, it'll appear there. And then here's our new row. So there we go. That's how we can add or update a row in a spreadsheet based on adding or modifying list items in SharePoint using Microsoft Flow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys next time.